Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 11th episode of my Platinum Trophy Guide for Demon Souls on the PS5. Uh, this is Caspian here with you today, and uh, just a recap of the last episode. So episode 10, we uh, did battle against the Tower Knight, and we earned not only the Bronze Tower Knight trophy, but also that rare silver trophy, One Shall Fall. Um, uh, so we, we were rewarded with One Shall Fall for having defeated the Tower Knight without killing any of his archers. And... You know, yesterday, I'm, I'm sorry about this, but I should have, after after that episode, I should have warped back to the Nexus, and I should have killed myself, and I should have showed it to you, so we're going to do that right now. Um, this is the place, so after each, after each boss fight, and after you vanquish each boss, your corporeal or physical body form is restored. Um, uh, so right now we're in physical form and we need to get rid of it in order to continue on in the game. Um, uh, so right now I am going to jump off the stairs here. And, uh, we'll go and collect our souls back up. So I still have my souls from yesterday too with that encounter with the Tower Knight. Uh, we're going to spend some of those souls right now. Um, I'm going to be looking for um, uh, some soul levels. And we'll go and see if uh, we have a spell or, well, actually a miracle available to us. Because it makes, it makes things a little bit easier. And I definitely, you know, despite this being uh, a magic build, um, I'm going to... I want, there is one miracle that I like to have in my, in my list, um, which is evacuate. Okay, so I, we're going to have to, um, uh, we're going to have to remember to um, save up for this, because um, uh, it's definitely, it's great to have early on. Um, uh, this allows us to use a talisman to warp back to the Nexus from anywhere in any of the worlds. Uh, although uh, the exception may be during boss battles, I actually have I've never tried to use evacuate during boss battles. I'm not sure it's possible or not. Um, uh, although I assume I assume it is possible, um, but I I've just I've never tried it. Um, so now that we've gotten, now that we've gotten, so uh, honestly, I, I guess it might still be a little bit early. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend all of those souls right now on leveling up my character. Uh, I'll probably buy, I'll probably buy some arrows too. Let's see here. Um, yeah, we've got 106 arrows. I'll probably get some extra arrows and. We'll put that back in our hand too. Um, let's go see Baldwin. So we will repair all our gear first and foremost. Get that out of the way before we do some soul leveling. And um, let's see. I would like some arrows. We'll take. Let's take. All right. So let's take an extra hundred just to have. And, um, all right, 206, perfect. Um, uh, oh, I'll show you also. So Stockpile Thomas still has, we sent this to our inventory. So let's remove that, and then he is going to want to talk to us about it. So he's going to mention that Jada hair ornament. I'm pretty sure he should mention it. When I came to, I was in this nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more. But. <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these people. Alright, 
let's let's talk to him again. Jitting the first days here. She says very little, but has a kind heart. Kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would be. Poor poor girl, trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. Huh, I, I was sure that he would be interested in that jade air ornament. Um, it's not an item that we can equip, I didn't think. That ornament, that there, ornament. there we go. Then she didn't make it after all. So it took a couple tries, but he's finally realized that we have it in our inventory. May she rest in peace. May I ask a favor? Would you mind giving me that idea? I'd like to have it on my own. Uh, so give Jade hair ornament, yes. And he's going to give us a ring for our collection. I must not forget. There's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I found it discarded on the main road. It might look odd, but it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway. I feel like you should have it. It'll be happy on your hands. There we go. The ring of Herculean strength. So definitely is a powerful ring. I know a lot of people um, enjoy wearing this one, especially, um, uh, I think, I believe, especially if you're doing a, uh, a strength build. Uh, so this one raises your item carry capacity. Um, it is not the ring of great strength, which the ring of great strength is kind of like its counterpart. The ring of great strength raises your equipment burden. Um, uh, but definitely is a great ring to have for our collection. Um, uh, so thank you, Stockpile Thomas. Now we will go and speak to the Maiden in Black, and we'll do some soul leveling. Okay, so, um, let's see here. Uh, we might as well put our strength up to 20. It's a nice round number. Um, uh, I'm going to take, let's see, one, uh, okay, so just two levels, eh? All right. Um, uh, all right, well, I'm going to put my magic power up. Um, uh, that's going to increase my magic power for those two spells that we have equipped. And let's hit confirm. And we may be back to see her quite shortly. So now just to show you from yesterday, after that, after that um, Tower Knight boss battle, and, and also because, because we slayed the Red Dragon, um, as you can see, our world tendency here for the Archstone of the Covetous King, the first Archstone, um, excuse me, the symbol underneath it has uh, brightened significantly. Um, so we are now in pure white world tendency for the Archstone of the Covetous King. So that means all of Boletarian Palace is currently under pure white world tendency. Um, uh, so some things are going to change. Uh, basically, you're going to be more powerful in Boletaria, I believe. Um, uh, it's not going to remain this way for long, but right now we're going to go over 
And this episode, we're going to do the pure white world tendency events in Boletaria. Um, so we have access to those right now. They consist of um, uh, that secret uh, locked area over to the left-hand side of the, the path that we begin on, the, the gate that I showed you at the beginning. That should now be open, and we are going to go deal with uh, one of the NPCs in the game called Executioner Meralda. And there is also uh, a crystal lizard in that area that we want to get some loot from, uh, as well as some other other little pieces of loot, including a colorless demon soul, which is really great to have early on in the game. Uh, you can use that to... to um, upgrade some gear however not yet um, because we still haven't given the searing demon soul to uh, blacksmith ed because we have not received the searing demon soul yet and uh, there's also um, the dragons are no longer going to be at their nest um, so that area is going to be free and clear of both dragons and we are going to be able to go over there and grab the loot uh, from uh, the dragon's nest. So let's head over to Boletarian Palace and get some of this done. So this should not take too long at all. Um, we've got uh, a couple black phantoms that we're going to have to deal with. And, yes, as you can see, perfect. So, um, we are in pure white world tendency. This gate has opened up for us. And we'll head down here. So there's no loot to collect over on this end. And I'll just show you. There's nothing nothing back here at all. Um, uh, you, may, you may, you know, it kind of looks like something could be hidden, but there isn't. Um, there is nothing down here. That is a cliff. Make sure not to get too close. Here's a black phantom for us to... Oh, and we want to make sure not to let this guy get away. Uh, so try to deal with that crystal lizard before you deal with these guys. Um, uh, uh, let's heal ourselves. I'm surprised they're not coming after me right now. I've got that thief ring on. Uh, that's that's the reason. Okay. Uh, that is entirely the reason. Um, uh, oh well, let's just leave that on right now. It's kind of nice that they're. So they have dropped, is that really, apparently that's it. Okay, I got all three of them. Um, there we go. And we've got some items on corpses here. Uh, so unknown warrior soul, unknown warrior soul. And unknown warrior souls are worth 200 souls a piece. So there's 400, 600, 800. And so that's a thousand souls right there for us. Um, uh, all right. And the black phantoms have dropped some crescent moon grass. And now we will head over here. No items for us to collect. And there's our crystal lizard drop. So six times hardstone shards. And now there's going to be, I believe, a set of armor here. Um, Ah, uh, yes, the Blue Eye Knight helmet. Um, uh, so we've got that Blue Eye Knight queer ass. There's, there's the helmet piece of that set. deal with those guys uh, relatively quickly um, uh, they are a little bit obviously they're, they're um, uh, definitely beefier than the uh, just a regular dragling those are dragling black phantoms all right a renowned warrior soul that's excellent 
we get uh, the, that's worth 800 souls. Um, uh, so that is awesome. Now we're going to have to be pretty careful here. Um, we've got Executioner Meralda around the corner. She is laying in wait. She's right there. Uh, so she's going to come running after us. Um, uh, let's see what we can do here. Ooh, our magic's not worth much against her. I was trying to get a backstab in there. There we go. Perfect. And as you can see, she's done a little bit of damage. We'll just heal and get her again with the backstab. All right. And that's going to do it for Executioner Meralda. So I believe she drops, uh, I think, her axe and some and her and some armor. Um, uh, uh, it's going to exceed our capacity. Well, that's okay. We'll send it to our storage. Uh, so she's also got the Master's Ring and the Binded Hood, the Binded Armor set, um, uh, which I know is definitely definitely can be worn by female characters. I'm not positive it can be worn by male characters. Uh, but it is in our inventory with Stockpile Thomas for the time being. And let's see here. That means I've got to do Iron Demon Soul. We'll send that to our inventory even though it's not taking up. It's not, it's not taking up any weight. Uh, but I, I don't like to keep the, um, uh, the boss Demon Souls in my, in my personal inventory. I like to keep those with Stockpile Thomas. So we will send that away. Um, I don't need so many of these. Um, keep six of those. And let's get rid of this stuff. Send the storage. Send the storage. Send the storage. Uh, we will send this to storage. Okay. Oh, right on. So that's two, well, three new, three new rings for our collection in this video alone. Um, uh, and here you will see, so we have an item on a beam down there. That is a colorless demon soul. Uh, we're going to have to jump down there and grab it. Um, right now I'm going to descend the ladder first. Um, uh, Geez, it's, uh, I really, I kind of wish that I had uh, evacuate to do this little area because it's much easier to just jump down to that beam and then just warp back to the Nexus. Uh, so here is the brushwood armor set, including the shield. Uh, that was way too heavy for us to carry. That was like 32 pounds altogether. So that's in our inventory with Stockpile Thomas. Um, uh, and now we will ascend again, and we're going to try and jump down and grab that demon soul. Um, uh, if we die, worst case scenario, we'll just have to we'll just have to come back here and do battle with the black phantoms, and then grab our souls. Um, uh, as uh, the or no, it's not Esmeralda. Uh, Executioner Meralda is not going. She will not. Um, uh, She's not going to be um, respawning, so you don't have you don't have to do battle with her again. So for this loot, you just want to walk straight out, and we should land on the beam right below us. Perfect. And we just want to make our way carefully over here. Now, if we if we fall down here, um, let's see. Oh, well, that beam's right there. Hmm. hmm. 
I think we I think we can get down. Oh. And I died. So I'll have to come back and grab my souls. Um uh which is not a big deal, but I'm certainly not leaving. I'm certainly not leaving 6,000 souls there. Um, all right, so we will equip that stuff. Grab that. And we're on our way once again. I am definitely excited about that colorless demon soul, and our, our friend the lizard is back, so we'll, we'll run past those enemies and go straight for the lizard. We went straight for the lizard because we we don't want them to to escape. Um, uh, you can use your bow and arrow too from a distance if if you want. Uh, ooh, ooh, they hit hard. some crescent moon grass. I, I don't believe I've ever seen them drop anything but crescent moon grass. Um, uh, but still, it, it's useful to us, that's for sure. Oh, look at where I, that ended up. Okay. All right. So we will go grab our souls, and then we're going to be moving on to the next Pure White uh, World Tendency event in Boletaria, and th this will be it for, and that'll be it for this episode. Um, uh, we're going to head over to the Dragon's Nest and collect the loot that is there. So where are my souls? Um, let's go see. They might be on that beam, which would be very unfortunate. Um, let's see if they're down here first, though. Yeah, they're definitely on the beam. Um, uh, okay. Well, we will have to jump down again. Yeah, there they are. All right. So we will just walk straight. There they are. Retrieve our souls and hmm. I think we can fall off this side. Nope. Ah, uh, geez, I'm gonna have to go back again. Ah. Uh. <sighs> we'll have to walk over to the other side. Okay. Uh, well, at least we get another shot at that crystal lizard, which is definitely a positive. I believe the crystal lizard will spawn a total of four times. So if you if you want to farm him, um, uh, it certainly is a good idea. As you see, we get six hardstone shards each time. Each time, 
each time we farm him. All right, there we go. That's better. And there we go. Perfect. All right. out of stamina there. There we go. Uh, sometimes you'll do that uh, that push. Uh, it's not it's not something I mean to do. It is it just happens. Um, uh, it's really the worst thing in the world. Is one of the the singular complaints I have about the game is that um, sometimes uh, it does the push at the wrong moment. Um, uh, it really is kind of a, a, a little bit annoying, but it certainly wouldn't stop me from giving this game a 10 out of 10. All right. So let's try this one more time. Wow. I need those souls. Here we go. And we will retrieve our souls, and we're going to have to walk over here. Oh! Oh, my God. All right, so what I'm going to do for the sake of time is I am just going to move on to... Um, uh, the dragon's nest, um, and I will show you. I will show you what loot is there and how to go about um, uh, finishing this uh, pure white world tendency event. go back for my souls later because I certainly if there's one thing I don't plan on doing it is dying between here and that dragon's nest my character is powerful enough at this point that I shouldn't have to worry about that too much especially if I play it safe So there are more than there's more than one way you can get to the dragon's nest. You can go up the back way here. Um, uh, that would take us backwards through the bridge. I think I'm actually going to approach it from the other shortcut, though. Um, so I will go through this stairwell instead. Take out our magic. Ooh. I didn't think he was going to be that close. And we'll slay these guys. Let's heal ourselves. Pick up this item here. Ooh. I'm going to put that fragrant ring back on. Um, there we go. Oh. Well, I got lucky there. Oh. Oh, he did it again.
So if you're not if you're not feeling like fighting these enemies and you just want to get this done as quickly as possible, you certainly you certainly could um, run right past them. But you know I'm in the same boat as you here. I'm not. This is not uh, you know my second playthrough where I'm using a character that's like level 120 or something. Um, uh, I need I need all the souls as much as possible um, uh, right right at the beginning. Um, so you know, I'm not really, I'm not bypassing any enemies. Uh, you might, we might as well do a little bit of soul farming at the same time while uh, while we are on our journey to the dragon's nest. Um, and certainly, I I definitely encourage you to um, uh, you know do as much farming as as you like. Uh, if you want to level, if you want to do. You know, a bunch of intense farming and level your character up past the point of where I've got um, uh, my Caspian character right now. Uh, by all means, definitely go for it. Um, uh, if it'll make you feel a little bit more powerful and comfortable um, uh, in the game, then absolutely. I definitely encourage that, that kind of thing. It can't hurt. Um, so we are almost there now. Okay. That's going to do it for these guys. We got one more soldier out here. him with the backstab and then we are on our way up to see that blue knight got the blue knight at the top of the stairs oh. make him come down here and see us I, I you know is I just find there's there's more room down here to deal with him and the archer can't hit us from this angle um, oh he uh, definitely dropped some loot for us but we are going to go and take care of this guy first because he uh, he always falls off there, so we'll do. I only want to make the one trip down. Awesome, they both died. So, half moon grass times two, excellent. I believe he always drops half moon grass too. Um, the blue, the blue knights are definitely a good, a good farm for half moon grass. So, if you just want to, if you're just doing some soul farming. Uh, and you warp into Boletaria a bunch. Uh, excuse me, they're always gonna have. Oh, excuse me, they're always gonna have half moon, half moon grass. And the red eye, the red eye knight up at the mausoleum. He is a great farm for full moon grass. Um, or late, yeah, I believe full moon grass is what he drops. It's either full moon or or late moon, but I think it's full moon. Um, so we will take that crescent and as you can see over there there used to be the blue dragon on top of that cliff he is no longer there um, and that is because we are in pure white world tendency um, uh, oh I forgot my own trick well, there we go it's gonna make this guy a little bit easier. It's much easier to tackle them separately. Uh, so we're gonna take a left down to the dragon's nest down here. And we are going to be very happy about this loot. And let's see, there's definitely a ring here. Uh, we've got some full moon grass. The purple flame shield. 
which is an awesome shield in the game, one of my favorites, a renowned warrior soul. That's going to be worth 800 souls. Uh, there's another one, 800 souls. The flame resistance ring, which is an excellent ring to have, especially um, uh, to use to stack with the purple flame shield because the purple flame shield, and there's the ring of great strength. So I'll show you this loot. Um, I'm going to send that to our storage. Um, the purple flame shield right here, it does, it. so it reduces 100% physical damage. So it is going to take all of, all of your enemy's attacks, is going to absorb all of that damage. And it does 90% fire damage. So uh, those fire bombs or anybody that's using uh, a f an attack that does fire damage, the shield is going to absorb 90% of that attack. Um, uh, so you do need to have your strength needs to be at 22. So we are not strong enough to wield that shield right now, I don't believe. Uh, but... It is going to be a useful item for us in the future. Um, actually, for now, I'm going to send that to my storage, and um, then I'll show you. So the Ring of Great Strength is the ring that I had been talking about. It raises your equipment burden, um, uh, so it pairs nicely with the Ring of Herculean Strength. Um, uh, although I almost, I almost never take my cling ring off. Um, And then the flame resistance ring uh, increases your resistance to flame, which I probably will probably be using that for a section of the game uh, in World 2, at the Archstone of the Digger King, uh, in the Tunnel City. Um, uh, so right now, we are going to head back to the Archstone so that we can warp out of here and head over to World 2, uh, where we're going to vanquish the uh, Armor Spider. So I'm going to head this way just to get just to get some souls in. Um, uh, actually, you know what? We'll just we'll conclude this episode here. Uh, I don't think I don't think you guys need to watch me. Um, uh, take care of some business here uh, just just in in lieu of time um, uh, we'll conclude this episode here and I will see you in episode 12 where we will be heading over to um, uh, actually hmm Yes, uh, we'll be finishing off the smithing grounds, and then after that, we'll be heading over to uh, World 3-1 for episode 13. So that, that concludes episode 11, uh, and I will see you on the flip side, Demon Slayers.